All right. Let's go grab journal days in order. I'm going to not talk through this, and uh, so that we can hear it. By the way, when I grab this thing, I'm probably gonna have to fight that thing. But let's just listen to this while we fight. Perfect. Patricia Tannis, Chief Scientific Advisor, Doll Corporation, Day 24. The only conversations I have anymore are with this recorder. I've developed a relationship with it. Some cycles I sleep with it, and others I make it stay outside of my tent. My waning ability to discern logic from insanity is becoming cumbersome. I've been translating Aaron and writing in between arguing with the recorder. For a few hours during my last sleep cycle, I heard you sneak out. If I were to pontificate, I would infer that the Aridan writings show a class-based society that was quite capable of both leadership and of armed conflict. So, now we see that Patricia Tannis has discovered more about the Iridian race and kind of what's going on, and that they were more advanced than they had thought. And she's also gone a little crazy, seeing as the Echo Recorder has long since been the only thing in her life. Like, everybody around her has died, and she's just kind of alone. She is actually right over there on this on this stage of the game, but we'll go meet her at a later date. As soon as all these are done, we're going to go meet Patricia Tannis for the first time, turn in the missions for the vault key, which is what we've been grabbing, those little cone-shaped stuff, <clears throat> and we're going to take out the shotgun. <laughs> I killed both of them with this. I love this sniper. Program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this arid and text I've been attempting to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years. She was never actually interested in science to begin with. I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here putting up with her until I find exactly where the vault is. Or until I drive myself so far off the edge, I do not remember why I was doing this in the first place. Yeah, so she's kind of going crazy talking to her mother, who's not even alive anymore. So, yeah. Kind of deep shit. You know, I've heard these echo recordings so many times, the background of this game, so many different times. And it still gets me, not gonna lie. So these next two echo recorders are actually quite close to each other. This one... You can just grab it, run right over, and then the next one's right here. So very often I find myself waiting just around here, waiting for it to end, because they're a little too close if you ask me, but I'm going to take out these racks who already seem mad at me. Oh wow, that, that guy dropped a lot. Let's go pick this thing up. Day 457. This is exciting. I think I might strip naked and run around to celebrate, but I'll, I'll do it during the dim cycle for fear of prying eyes. Before overloading and melting four of my computer's 13 qubit operators, my program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I had been able to understand before. It will take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not unlike a circle with an upside-down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault. And something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner, I will have eggs. So every 200 years, there's an event. That's what we now know. Okay, this is going to be a tough period. What the fuck was that? Something just attacked me. I don't know what it was, to be honest. It's actually pretty amazing that your typing stopped like every single time I was listening to the echo recorders. <laughs> like it was perfect. It's like you were perfectly silent for the entirety of the time that I needed you, and I think twice here you've actually like made noise as soon as it was over. I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll put my oh wow, okay my volume down to like three decibels. Yeah, yeah. All right. Still. So, um, I was going to go just meet Patricia Tannis, but I should also do the scavenger hunt for this area because the, uh, the echo recorder, I believe, is right over there. That's for a different mission. just want to take these guys out real quick. Let's not waste all my sniper ammo because I'm incapable of hitting anything that's moving. This is 
an old Call of Duty trick I picked up, is to like aim with your left joystick. Like just move your whole character, don't actually move your, uh, your position. So that's uh, the weapon shipment invoice for Marcus, that was that secret mission we got. Secret kinda not so secret. Am I going to the wrong place? Okay, no, it's just right over. So let's actually, let's go grab the echo recorder, listen to it, and then I'll come back here, do the scavenger hunt. I'm not sure how that'll line up, but it should be okay. This game's really nice for speeding up. Or just cutting out. Because unlike maybe Minecraft, your screen doesn't really shake all that much when you sprint. So it speeds up really nicely. I don't know why that's important, but... Oh <laughs> shit, we got trouble. And I, I do want to speed things up instead of cut things out. Because I want the people watching to like experience the whole game and see all of the area. And if I just cut, then it, it looks like I just teleported. Which in the footage I did. Alright, let's listen. So sh now she's going crazy. If you look at the timeline of the journal days to my right, you can see that the time difference between her saying that and the last one was significant. So she's kind of slowly losing her sanity. I'm not going to use that SMG because, well, thumpers are thumpers. They're actually really decently powerful SMGs that have really high accuracy but really low fire rate. So they kind of balance themselves out. And that gun's technically like higher damage, but this one... It's pretty much the same thing, but I think less accurate slightly. I don't know. Let's do the scavenger hunt here and pick up everything. So I'm not going to bother putting on this mission because it won't help me at all. Take out the burning psycho because Bloodwind's a badass. I think these guys either respawned or I went to a different area. I don't know. Pick up these ammo kits because I am not doing super hot on ammo. I don't really know what's wrong with that. Let's check this vending machine. Do we... No, that's all shit. So, let's check this chest. I should actually sell my uh, inventory pretty soon here. Alright, so we're collecting all these different car parts for Scooter. At this point, I pretty much haven't memorized where everything is. Keyword there, pretty much. <clears throat> let's grab that. And then there's another one on top of this roof. Oh, shit. No, oh, grab it. Got it. Is that the whole mission, or am I close? Front fender, that's all I need. There should be another one back here or around here somewhere. I might have grabbed that one first. Well, in that case, it's a legitimate scavenger hunt, because I don't have a clue where this thing is. Um... Uh, I'll probably think about it at some point. In fact, this mission used to really get me because it doesn't help you in any way showing you where anything is. You kind of just have to stumble upon it, like right here, and I got lucky. Alright, I'm going to sell my inventory and then probably super fast forward over to a new area. Or to the next echo thing. There is actually another chest right up here, and I'm going to go grab it. There are going to be a lot of spider ants to my left in just a second here. Because this is where they spawn. Okay. Kind of just not even using the scope on this thing. Because all you got to do is hit their ab uh, abdomen, and they just kind of explode. Especially because this thing has explosive aspect, which helps a lot. <laughs> 
and exploding things, as you'd imagine. But I just wanted to run up here quick, see what's in here. Usually these white chests just kind of have shit like this. It's really not exciting, but it's free money, so I take them. Uh, typically the chests, uh, we haven't seen them yet, but there are crimson armored chests that are like, I think DLC only. Maybe we'll see some later. They uh, aren't, they, they have a lot more items. So like twice as much as the typical red ones, but the white ones are usually the worst. turned it off. Where are the... I am a little bit lost. Hold on. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay. So right over this ledge here, there should be Scooter's mission for unclogging these drains. Right pat. Oh, it's over there. Uh, I'm just gonna run in because there's really not any way to get up to this area without it being super awkward for a vehicle. Um, for him to pop out, throw a grenade. So I'm trying to, the reason I just skipped past the area I just did is because there's going to be a mission for One-Eyed Jack and also the ammo crates, which I can do simultaneously, but I need to turn in the weapon invoice that I got for Marcus. Of course, this kind of stuff wouldn't really be obvious in the normal game, but I also don't know how normal people look. Alright, let's take care of these fuckers, and I don't necessarily believe there are any chests around here. So I'm just going to grab the ammo crates, reload my weapons, and get out of here. Oh yeah, here's another one of those arenas I mentioned a long time ago. You'd go in there with a friend to fight each other, and it's not really that great. And there are racks. It's pretty fun throwing a grenade like that and then watching the XP go up because it worked. Never did kill a rack with a grenade. That would be pretty badass. <clears throat> Honestly, I thought there was a there was a quick travel over here. Every once in a while, I might ac I accidentally um teleport to my vehicle instead of making a new one, which is really oh man. Because sometimes your vehicle, like you just saw, I, I left it way back there and I had to run all the way in. So, if you forget your vehicle, like if you leave it all the way back there and then you have to teleport to it, it is just, a, oh, it is a mess. Where am I supposed to turn in these journal days? Okay, bounty board. And then I'm going to get a whole bunch of extra missions, which will bring me back to the Rust Commons West and then the Rust Commons East. Let's also turn this into Marcus. So he gives you a shitty pistol, and then uh, all the munition stuff, ammo dumps destroyed, that's where we need to be. Just a blank mission, 6,000 XP and some money, I think, I don't even know. Let's also turn in all of this other stuff to Tannis, or not Tannis. Oh, wait, what, where am I going? Oh, these are both scooter, okay. Does Oh, so after I find Tannis, I really should have talked to Tannis. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, hopefully, since I went to that part of New... of uh, Rust Commons West, I can teleport to the under... thing? Yeah, the underpass. So they actually got these mixed up. Fun little bug about Waterlands. The underpass is that area right outside where I killed all the guys. That doesn't help at all. It's right next to like one of the last echo recorders, so I ran through it quite a lot. That's kind of that large overhang archway. 
And the outer yard is the area with the secret chests. But the underpass teleport will actually bring you to the outer yard. So there's really nothing calling this the outer yard. You just can kind of assume. As soon as this loads, you'll see instantly that it's...